Many of us are focused on our duties to the Almighty, and this is certainly commendable. However, many people forget and neglect their duties to those around us, strangers, friends, neighbors, and even family. They don't think about how their words and actions affect others. They don't worry about whether they offend someone by word or deed. Such people think that just praying and worshiping the Lord is enough to get into heaven. But this is only one side of the coin. After all, Islam is not only about rituals, but also about a way of life that includes our relationships with others. It is important to know that a good and kind attitude and love for people are some of the fundamental Islamic principles that are cited in a large number of ayats and authentic hadiths from our beloved Prophet. Blessings and peace be upon him, neglect of which can lead to loss of good deeds and even going to hell, despite a large number of good deeds. Imagine, a person prays diligently to his Lord, keeps fasting, but is rude in his dealings with people. Is this the way of a true believer? In the ayats of the Quran and the authentic hadiths of Prophet Muhammad, blessings and peace be upon him, we find many indications of the importance of being kind and merciful to others. After all, Allah, the just and the all-seeing, and he does not forgive injustice and wrongs done to another person unless the person corrects what he has done. But how to be pleasing to our Lord, not only in worship, but also in our daily affairs. How to build harmonious relations with others, following the way of the Prophet, peace be upon him. This is what we will talk about in this video. In our times, when neglect and injustice in relationships have become a sad norm, it is important to be reminded of God's commandments and how dangerous it is to violate their principles. God, in his infinite wisdom, has established laws governing relationships between people, and he does not forgive those who cause offense through injustice. So let's make sure that as many people as possible learn about this important knowledge. And to do this, give this video a like, share it with your friends and leave your thoughts in the comments. And be sure to watch to the end so you don't miss any valuable details. And there will be more than a few. And so it is reported that Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, said, One day the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, was asked, O Messenger of Allah, indeed, such a woman stands up at night in prayer, that is, performs tahajud, fasts during the day and does such and such good deeds, gives alms but she harms the neighbors with her tongue, so what do you say about her? The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, There is no good in her. She is from among the inhabitants of hell fire. People also asked, And what about so and so, who performs only prescribed prayers and gives the poor only pieces of powdered milk, but does not harm anyone? And the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, She is one of the inhabitants of paradise. Just imagine, dear friends, despite the fact that she prayed at night, fasted during the day and gave alms, the Prophet, blessings and peace be upon him, said, There is no good in her. She is from among the inhabitants of fire, and all because she was hurting people, in particular her neighbors. Remember, dear friends, that the neighbor occupies a very important place in Islam. Good relations with neighbors are based on mutual respect, assistance and support. Remember, dear friends, Islam is a religion of peace and kindness, friendship and love, and a neighbor, as well as a good and kind attitude towards him, occupies a very important place in Islam. The Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, said, He is not a true believer who is full while his neighbor remains hungry. The Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, said, By Allah, he will not believe. By Allah, he will not believe. By Allah, he will not believe. He was asked, Who, O Messenger of Allah? He said, The one person whose neighbor is not safe from his evil. In the version of this hadith given by Muslim number 46, the Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, said, The man whose neighbor is not safe from his evil will not enter paradise. Allah Almighty says in the Holy Quran, Do good to parents, relatives, orphans, the poor, neighbors from among your relatives and neighbors who are not your relatives. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said, One day I asked, O Messenger of Allah, I have two neighbors, so which one should I give? This refers to a case where, for example, a person has only a little food and can treat only one neighbor with something and similar cases. He replied, the one whose door is closer to you. The Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, said, the best companion before Allah Almighty is the one who treats his companion best. 
and the best neighbor before Allah Almighty is the one who treats his neighbor best. Also, the Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, said, Jibril did not stop giving me instructions on the need to treat my neighbor well for so long that I even thought that he would include him. Dear friends, these hadiths that we have cited remind us of the importance of our relationships with family members, neighbors, and the people around us. Think about it. The woman mentioned in the hadith worshipped diligently, prayed at night and fasted, but at the same time harmed her neighbors with her tongue, and this led her to a terrible fate, to go to hell. This example shows that rituals alone are not enough. We must be extremely careful with our words and actions so as not to cause harm and resentment to others. After all, even the most fervent prayers will not save us from the fire of hell if we are unfair to others. And we would also like to give you one hadith about who the real have-nots are. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, said, One day, the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, asked the people, Do you know who is the poor? They replied, The poor among us are called those who have neither money nor property. Then the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, Truly, the poor among the members of my community will be the one who brings prayers, fasts and zakat with him on the day of resurrection. But it turns out that he insulted this one, slandered this one, appropriated this one's property, shed the blood of this one and hit this one, and then something of his good deeds will be given to this one and something. And if his stock of good deeds runs out before he can pay off with everyone, then they will take something from the sins offended by him and lay it on him and then he will be thrown into hell. The Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, said, Whoever has acted unfairly towards his brother in terms of his honor or something else, let him get rid of this injustice today before the dinars and dirhams lose their value, meaning that when the day of judgment comes, and then if he has good deeds, they will be taken away according to his injustice, and if he does not have good deeds, then the sins of the person he oppressed will be taken away and laid on the oppressor. Regretting wrongdoing and correcting what you have done is not just an admission of mistakes, but a desire to change, rethink yourself as a person and take responsibility for your actions. Asking for forgiveness for suffering and unfair treatment is a sign of courage and expression of honesty and respect for oneself and the injured party. It is a sign of conscience and high moral qualities. If a person wants to be a truly wonderful person, then one should strive for good morals. After all, it is like a key that opens the doors to good deeds and locks everything bad that can offend others. Good morals are the way to the satisfaction of the Lord himself. With each good deed, a person rises higher and higher, becoming one of the true believers. But one must beware of committing sins such as insults, gossip and others, because all these are like stones that pull a person down, forcing them to pay with good deeds on the day of judgment. So what should a person choose? The path of light and goodness or the path of darkness and evil. But remember that the path of light and goodness leads to heaven and the road of darkness and evil leads to hell. The Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, said, You cannot harm yourself or others. The Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, also said, It is unacceptable neither to cause harm without reason nor to cause harm in response. These two hadiths represent one of the foundations of Islam, which concerns norms related to morality and human relationships between people of different cultures, peoples and religions. This basis presupposes the deliverance of people from harm in its various forms and manifestations, which a person can bring through his words and deeds. Harm is prohibited, and the elimination of harm is mandatory, and harm is not eliminated through other harm, and harming each other is also prohibited. Good must be answered with good, and evil must also be answered with good. Our beloved Prophet, blessings and peace be upon him, said, Whoever does not thank people does not thank Allah. Gratitude to the people through whom Allah's mercy came is gratitude to him. Allah says in the Quran, Indeed, Allah does not love any ungrateful people. Remember, kindness to people is the way to Allah's satisfaction. And remember what the Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, said in the hadith of Fadal ibn Ubaid, may Allah be pleased with him. The Messenger of Allah, may Allah bless and greet him during the farewell pilgrimage, said, should I tell you about the believer? This is the one to whom people entrust their possessions and souls. A Muslim is someone who does not harm people with his tongue or his hands.
An important clarification in this hadith concerns the words, during the farewell pilgrimage, the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, made a farewell pilgrimage a few months before his death. Therefore, these words of the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, are among the final definitions of who a true believer and Muslim is. We ask the Lord great and holy, that he help all people and guide all people on the right path. We also ask for his help and protection. May the mercy of the Lord always be upon us and upon you, dear friends. God bless you all.